with another video bohemian and scandinavian inspired home decor if you're new here that's my jam so um today i'm doing our little dining area it's really small as you guys know we live in like a 420 square foot apartment so we're kind of making the most of every space in this apartment so I'm going to share with you how I styled that area and then I'm also going to share with you just a sneak peek of what our kitchen looks like. I have not made it over. There's so many things that I would love to do in there, um, but I'm going to show it to you anyways because why not? So I hope you enjoy this video. So as you can see, here's our space before. There's not a whole ton of room for a table and chairs. Um, we probably should have got a round table but we got a square table because it was the only one I could find in our price range. So I will show you all of that in a second, but I'm just gonna clean up a little bit, sweep and get this area ready to lay down some rugs. So I don't have our forever rug currently. I am going to redo our living room pretty soon and sell a bunch of stuff. So I'm just using this old rug. It was like $5 I had in my stash so i'm just going to use the back of it for now the bottom and then i'll get a new rug pretty soon so i'm using rugs just to kind of define the lines of that area because obviously it's all in the same room the living room the kitchen is right here so just to make the dining room feel like its own little space i'm using a rug to kind of say like this little section is the dining room and then I'm gonna layer this other rug that I had just to add a little bit of texture down there because that rug is really bland. Um, this one's way too small or I would have just used this one by itself, but it's obviously not big enough to fit under the table, so I'll just layer them together. And this is how the table came. Um, I got it from Amazon. It folds down, so that's the reason why I chose this one. Um, aside from the price and then also um, I got my chairs from Amazon as well I will link them all in the description box So excited to share this stuff with you guys. So Territory Design, and I will link them in the description box, sent me these things. And they're so, so beautiful. These are two um, wall tapestries that could either be hung alone or together. But I believe they're sold in a set. And then they gave me this beautiful basket with um, a lid so I could store stuff. Whoa, weird. Store stuff in here. And then also this room, which could be hung like on a peg rack or styled like on a shelf. Super cute. And then this pillow, which I like. I have it here on the bed now, um, but I may use it on the couch. I don't know. I love it so much. I'm not sure where to put it. But yeah, so I'm going to use these two today in the dining room and I you'll probably see those styled either on my Instagram or on another video but thank you so much Territory Design because these are amazing and they are going to make my space so boho and scandy I love it before I hang the wall tapestries up I wanted to make sure that the table was set up so I could see exactly where I want them to go I'm so obsessed with these these are the wall hangings. They're so beautiful, which they would look nice like this, but because of the space that we have, I'm gonna do them side by side. But they're just stunning. So I'm thinking, once seeing the table up and how it will be, I wanna kind of line up the outside of each one with the back side of each chair, if that makes sense. So that's how I'm gonna hang them up. These wall hangings did not come with a string attached, so I grabbed some macrame cord, tied it on to each end so I would have a way to hang it to the wall.
So I found this at the thrift store. I feel like it's cute. Whatever I put on the table, I'm gonna have to remove either way. This was $3 at the thrift store. So I'm thinking either this with this. Which I do like. Or just like this simple wooden bowl that I used to have on the shelf with lemons in it. I think I'm going to ask you guys on Instagram what you think and then I'll be back. So I ended up choosing the pompous grass just because of the way that it fills out this space a little bit better but it's like minimal so I don't have to have a bunch of stuff on the table so I'm just going to have this and when we eat we just remove it anyway because it's such a small table let me answer a few questions before you ask the reason why there is a line here and that side's like bluish gray and this side is white is because when I did the living room makeover I only painted up until the refrigerator so I'm going to I'm still debating if I'm going to paint the kitchen or if I'm just going to add the faux tile and just do it up until that line we'll see i haven't decided quite yet and then the other question you'll probably ask is how do we sit at this table well we pull it out number one to eat if we're going to eat here but we don't usually eat here but if we do we can also put down the flaps of the table and just sit comfortably so another idea i had was to possibly put like that wood wallpaper or like peel and stick wallpaper all the way up on the side of the fridge so it looks more like a wall instead of like the side of the refrigerator I don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments if that's something that I should do so here's our kitchen when we had just moved in um, before we put our stuff in here just so you can see what it looked like before um, I just bought like some containers um, and a few other like little things that I wanted to add so I'm gonna do that now and then I'll show you guys everything. Christmas, my mom was so sweet. She bought me the set of these. So I'm gonna put these out instead of the ones that we had. We had some gray ones. Um, the same exact ones but in gray. They're from Amazon, like 20 bucks, I think. So I'm just gonna put these ones out instead. They're like a light khaki color. And they lasted us a while. I wanna say we had them for like three years or no, since we're not married, like two years. And they they lasted really well. So I'm gonna put these out. I'll link them in the description box for you in case you wanna snag some of these because they're super neutral and cute. So I'm gonna wash them and then put them on. So we don't have a ton of stuff for me to put in here, so I'm probably gonna grab our other pasta one and pour this into here and then um, just put sugar into this because I don't really have anything else like I've pretty much put all my stuff into containers so I think I'm just gonna do that so this could sit on the counter I'd rather have pasta on the counter than sugar because I just feel like it's prettier okay that's what I'm gonna do in here empty I had had these from Christmas um, but I do like them for pantry jars I just don't have any extra foods right now so but I think nuts or something when we get them I'll put in here but I'm just gonna leave them in here for now the way that they are with nothing in them and I'll clean up and then I'll show you the kitchen that 
really bothers me is this outlet. So I'm just putting this basket over it and I could easily still access it if I want to, but I don't typically use it. And then also I put this little piece of wood here for my spices. I cover the other outlet with these cutting boards just because I really hate outlets. <laughs> home this is exactly what happens to the living room what do you have to say for yourself this is my house <laughs> thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys thought about the dining room and the pieces from Territory Design. Thank you guys so much for sending me those. They're stunning, they're so perfect. I love them so much. And let me know what you guys think about our kitchen and what things we should do in there to kind of update it. Um, I mean, it's fairly modern, like the countertops and everything. Um, it's just like so bland, I feel like. Like silver handles and all of that. You guys know I love brass, so I think just switching out even the handles and adding a backsplash might be all I need to do. But um, yeah, it's kind of small, so there's not a whole lot I could do in there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I know I say it all the time, but I mean it so much. Um, also, keep spreading the love and light as always, and I will keep you